Good evening, boys and girls, mums and dads, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. In the last episode, I ran around finishing off this um, uh, rubite mine down here, building up the railway lines along here, and apparently not building up my defences quite enough. Oh, that's all right. They're just digging, digging through the walls. That's that's allowed. I'll uh, worry about that later. How's it going down here? That's one of my turrets down here is picking up damage already. I see. So, okay, first job. Let's go down there and put in some, some, some more sniper turrets because apparently I haven't got enough firepower down in that very bottom corner. You'd think this would be enough, wouldn't you? But apparently not. Perhaps if I, with some cunning use of walls I can um, slow the biters down a bit so, because the range on these things goes all the way out to there. But by the looks of it they've been being attacked from a bit closer up. I mean, normally I do this through dragon's teeth and I could probably fit some of them in along here like this. And maybe one more row. By the looks of it, I'm going to run out of walls before I finish this. Unless I've got more in this and another stack. Nope, there we go. Well, that'll probably help a bit. So, now it's, um, things seem to be a, bit, be a bit more peaceful. Apart from over here, where there's lots of uh, biters spawning in. Right, I've got quite an ambitious plan for today's episode. So I'm thinking that I've got this railway line along here, which is a good start. But I'm going to need to bring in quite a lot more resources, and I did say I was going to investigate LTN at some point, because that is supposed, supposed to make trains a lot more effective, should we say. So what I'm thinking of doing is, what if I was to build a massive loop around the outside of the base that goes along here, up across this lake, up to hit about, maybe about here somewhere, all the way across here, and then down, hit down here on this side, probably over this lake as well. Um, that's going to require quite a lot of a lot of landfill to get across the lakes. Probably quite a lot of combat to um, to get through this area over here. So maybe I'll maybe I'll leave this top right section for later because I don't really feel that my um, fighting abilities are quite up up to it yet. But I can build. But if I if I start to make instead of having this as a single line that just goes from the mine to the to the um, refinery over here, if I try and get this to be a decent a pair of lines going across here. And then some sort of system up here so that it just goes past and carries on round. Then I think things should be a bit more. Um, it'll make things a bit more. Um, a bit. It'll make things a bit easier to expand as I, as I start to get more mines and more trains and things onto onto the lines. I might push this wall up here as well. That shouldn't be too difficult. And that'll give me a lot of extra space here. It'll give me access to these bobmonium patches, which I'm going to need for the tin at some point. Some of these are huge. And then maybe something over here as well, because I'm going to need more coal very soon. Thorium is probably going to come in useful, who knows. Stereotype, sapphirite maybe, and crotinium as well. So all, all of these ore patches up here, it'd be quite nice to get get under my control. So I think the first thing... Do I have any um, rail in my inventory? I do. Okay, so I think the first thing is to lay a second line along next to the first one. So that my trains aren't um, aren't trying to go up and down the same the same line both ways. Now, do I want to do it north or south of it? I don't think it really matters. There's not really anything in the way until, at least, until I get to this bit, this chunk of wall here, which I clearly put in the wrong place. Um, so let's go just to the south of it, maybe about there, and it won't interfere with the um, with the power lines or anything like that. Now, <clears throat> the difficult part of this is going to be there's going to be a lot of trees in the way. Should have brought the car with me. If if I leave it behind, I'm just going to regret it later. There we go. In fact, let's use the car as well. That's what it's there for. Well, it sort of works. <laughs> ah, and a mass rail. Should have some spare, though, up here. Okay, that's the first part of the, um, the railway built. <coughs> The next part is probably going to be where it takes a right turn about here and then goes up straight past this uh, rubite drop point here and all the way up north and up into this sort of area. So that's going to again require a lot of digging through the trees probably um, and some more landfill to get across this area. But I'll get the landfill on the way up past the base I think. And uh, yeah, and then I'll, I'm going to have to worry about a wall up here as well. But uh, one thing at a time, let's carry on with the rails. And firstly, I'm going to need to move this um, wall down a bit, which I don't have any of. So, never mind. If I pick this one up, I can put it down further down. And I'm going to need to have room to put the turrets behind it as well, so let's free up a fair amount of space along here. Okay. Hey, I'm getting better at that. Yeah, that'll do. <coughs> so 
the next step is going to be to have the gun turrets down here as well. But I need them to cover each other, so I should put one in this. In fact, I should put several in this corner, or at least two like that, and maybe three like that. That should be all right. Yeah, that'll do. Let's see if we prioritise the left input, then hopefully it'll pull all of the ammunition and coal off the top belt while it's um, at first, in order to use it up because it's not really worth the hassle of. Oh, stop walking into trees. It's not really worth the hassle of replacing the uh, of pulling all of the supplies off it. I'll just have to do it, do it like that. Oh, and I need a splitter here as well. I don't think I'm getting through ammunition quickly enough for um, it to actually get used up, unfortunately. So I'm just going to have to pull the whole thing up to get to make way for the railway lines because that one is going to run straight into it. Like that. Oh well, <clears throat> it was a nice idea. Shame it didn't work. This is where, I, of course, film completely fill my inventory up with coal and um, ammunition. Right, like, about like that. There we go, full. <laughs> oh, I know how to deal with this. <clears throat> because I've got a car, I can just chuck all of the um, unwanted stuff in the car and it'll give me somewhere to keep and store it. This rubite should go somewhere useful as well, and the stone. And why have I got so much iron? It's amazing how much rubbish you pick up when you're not being careful. Actually, I should probably pick all this stuff up. It's just belts, but otherwise it's all going to end up um, accidentally being dumped on a on a belt and going into the middle of the factory somewhere and ruining everything. I know how this sort of thing works. Okay, so that goes up there. That one follows. Are these attacks getting heavier? Or, I don't know. Yeah, because they, they're definitely getting further in and doing more damage to the dragon's teeth, because at first they didn't... They didn't really affect it very affect the uh, dragon's teeth very much, but now they seem to be actually starting to damage them and occasionally destroy them. Oh well. Which side is the other one on? Okay. So I need to throw the grenades to clear both sides along here. Oops. This is going to be annoying. Um, I'm not going to get cliff explosives for a long time, so unfortunately the uh, the railway is going to have to split and go round this uh, cliff cliff face here. Hopefully it'll squeeze past those pipes though. Maybe 500 at a time isn't enough. <clears throat> Ooh, can I squeeze down the side here? Well enough. The question is, can I get back out again? Yeah. Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Landfill. Just up here somewhere. There, that one. 638. That's a, a useful number, I suspect. See how it, see how it gets on. <laughs> see how we get on with it. I'm amazed both of those went straight past those pipes without any problems. I have to admit, I am slightly concerned that these um, bridges I'm building at the moment for the uh, railway line are going to are breaching the the secure edge of uh, the secure perimeter of my base. So in theory, I could get attacked through them. Oh, look, another cliff, joy. Um, hopefully, I won't, because um, there's not really much around here, which is why I was going to head all the way over here and build a um, a wall up from here. And across, well, maybe up here. I don't know how far up here. We'll, we'll see. I'll need to go and do some exploring first. Um, <clears throat> so that I can capture all of these ore patches. Especially this coal one here. Maybe that Jeevalite one up there as well, if, if it's uh, quiet enough. So I'm thinking, yeah, build a wall up from about here. All the way up here and across here to this lake. And then finish this one up, up this way. So I'm completely so I'm um, sealed in again. Um, but yeah, let's, let's go up and have a look. Where's my car? It's down here, so... Let's head up there and have a look around and see if there's um, a sensible, an, a, uh, an obvious place to build the wall. Now uh, let's try not to get stuck on too many trees. So yeah, going up from here, take this out on the way past because yeah, might as well. It's a tiny, tiny base. Right up here, I'll uh, leave that one well alone for now because that's a quite big. Oop, driving towards there instead. Is there a way around this forest? It's hard to tell. Yes, there is a way around, but it's over here. Okay. I'm going to go through. A tank would be good for this. Actually, I don't have one. Can I get through there? Yes. No, maybe. Yes. Oop, there's another nest there. Let's try and avoid that. More successfully avoid that one. Okay, so up here is some more water. I wonder if that's a continuation of the same lake I saw before. I'm going to say no. It seems to be another one. Okay, let's head back down this way. Got the top of a lake here. Another massive Bobmonian patch there. Let's at least find out how big it is. So, a swamp garden. No idea what that's for. Uh, while it's quiet, where am I? Okay, so this is 
a lake rather than a sort of a, a sea that carries on for however far. Um, <clears throat> there's quite a, as obviously a rather big patch of biters there, but if I... Why's that got a flat side? I've only just explored it. That's odd. Um, yeah, so if I sneak round this biter nest and down, down here, I'll be able to find out how far... If there's anything interesting in this black area here. If not, I'm probably going to build up from here to about here, and then across, maybe across here or across here. That Jeeva light patch would be quite nice to pick up because I'm getting through this one at a reasonable rate. It's down to below a million now. I can't remember what it was like when I first found it, but um, to be un under a million seems fairly small, and that's just getting turned to steel really. So I could, yeah, I'm going to need another one at some point. There's one there surrounded by what oil? Okay. And another one down there. But, but yeah, none, none of these are really going to be inside my perimeter in quite the same way. So, yes, yeah, so I think I'll try and sneak around here and uh, we'll, have a we'll have a think once I've done a bit more exploring. Oop, another nest there. That's a rather unfortunate place. That's about where I was planning to put the um, put my wall through. Some more uh, resources here, some steratite. And a patch of um, sapphirite there as well. Oh. Uh, and what's this? This is oil? No, gas, I think. And this is the massive forest. I can't get through that at speed. And I can't get through it slowly if there's biters following me, because they'll attack. Get lost. <clears throat> okay, let's grenade the way through here. In fact, if I'm going to be throwing explosives around, I'm going to repair the car again, because it's getting a bit battered. <laughs> and not just because I keep driving into rocks. Okay, that's some exploring done. <clears throat> I think my plan is going to remain more or less unchanged. I want a wall up here, a wall across here, and then I'll get this. I'll get this Jeeva light patch later. I think once I've got some better weapons and can, and can actually take on a nest of this size without too much of a worry. That one is going to be an interesting to take out. That one shouldn't be too difficult. It's fairly small. Um, otherwise, yeah, this seems. This, I think this plan's reasonably doable. So I suppose I should go and let's see. I haven't got any any walls at all. Although I do have some bricks, but now let's let's go and find some more of that and unload all the junk I'm carrying around with me as well. Um, how do I get ammunition up here? There's a there's an ammo belt here. That might be a good place to pull it from. It could come across here and then yeah up 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 there and across there. That's reasonably doable. How is ammunition production going? So I know I've built out a lot recently. Where is ammunition production happening even? Oh here. Right. So it's running flat out and still trying to fill up this belt these belts from my last big push. Uh, where does it go? Okay, here we are. Wow. Yeah, okay, I'm um, a long way behind on the ammo production. <laughs> oh, but I've got um, I've got all that ammunition I picked up off that belt. I could put that back. Put that back into circulation. That would help a little bit. At some point, I'm going to need to upgrade the um, ammunition belts to carry... At some point, I'm going to need to upgrade the ammunition belts to carry armor-piercing ammunition rather than this normal um, low-tier low, low stuff. I've just noticed I am completely out of coal. Need, I'm going to need to fix that very, very quickly. I think that's going to have to be a top priority. There we go. So does that mean... Oh, no, it's not completely out, but it's very nearly out. So I've only got like, half a dozen of those miners still running. <sighs> Let's see. So there's that one, that one, and that one. The only one of those that's really accessible, oh, and one, here, one there as well, I think is that one. But I'm not realistically going to be able to get at it uh, safely without taking out some of these first and, and build, in fact building the wall I was talking about. So yeah, that's a tricky one. I'm not sure exactly what orders to do things in here because coal is clearly a massive priority at this point but it's going to be difficult to get out there safely. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to get out there safely and, and actually retrieve the, um, start mining the coal without, without risking biters pouring in and destroying everything. So let's see, I think, oh yeah, first things first, let's unload some rubbish. So, pull these boxes out. That's a steel one, there's lots of room in that, that's good. Um, keep some of the landfill for now, just in case I've realised I've made a mistake or I need to put some poles in or something. Most of this can just go. Uh, yeah, let's switch that car over to um, the better ammunition for now. Ooh, nice. Walls. <laughs> right, fine, I'll be over foot. Walls, what's off? I'm going to need a lot of gun turrets as well. I'm going to actually defend this wall and a lot of burner inserters as well. I should probably start manufacturing burner inserters automatically really rather than doing more manually. Up there as well, eh? Hmm. Yeah, the biters definitely aren't leaving me alone. 
This is possibly the point where a game gets a bit tougher. Uh, let's take some snipers as well. Right, I'm really, really low on power now. That's not good. For all, of, yeah, all of these have, are out. Most of these are. Oh no. This is really, really bad. Uh, I don't know why I did that. It's not really going to help very much. Okay. So. Uh, no, that's not the gap I made. Here we go. Right, first thing. Let's build a wall around. Let's build a wall around this coal and room to build a station as well. So this will at least act as the early warning system if my um, new mine does come under attack. In fact, let's let's get the mine going. Oh no, I don't have any electricity up here. <laughs> and I don't have solar panels yet. Um, but I can start the mine. I've got the mining drill ones as well. Need to get rid of them. <laughs> yes, I am just trying to make that gap a bit wider. On railway line, there you are. <laughs> okay, I completely missed the um, where I was going to put the railway with my uh, words. Words difficult. Completely, I put the gap in completely the wrong place where I was going to put the railway line. Typical. I'm just getting bored of this now. Oh, that one can go. Nope, <laughs> that one's in the wrong place as well. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Not quite. Put that there instead then. There. Right, it's power. Oh, I'm here. Okay. More miners, and let's get rid of those Mark 1 miners we had as well. They go in there. And of course, more railway line. Uh, I only picked up 400. I'm carrying too much. That's too much wall. Let's get rid of some of that. I think one of my biggest concerns at this point is I'm going to run out of coal and therefore power and so on, and not be able to build up all the supplies I need in order to get more coal. As you can see, the everything's coming out very, very slowly around here. Oh. And not just because I'm, I'm running over power poles. No, it's uh, coming out very, very slowly because there's almost no power in the base, so it's not able to keep all the machines running. So I think I need to be a, perhaps a bit more careful with how exactly how I do things at the, at the moment. At least until I've got everything up and running again properly. <laughs> at least I'm not relying on um, laser turrets to keep the base defended. Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. What? There. Even when I, even though I've got them all wired up now, they're not running. Oh, they're not running <laughs> very much because there's so little power available. You get tiny little bursts of coal production, and the whole thing just creaks to a halt. <laughs> Something else to be out of. Great. Um, oh yeah. <sighs> right. Yeah, that's a, a depressing sight. And it's going to be difficult to fix as well as um, as we said. Well, let's go and put in the other end anyway. Let's try to drive round things as well. Okay, some things I care more about than others. Right, so that comes in down here. I need the coal to come in about here, because that's where the everything is set up to already get the coal from. So if I can bring the train over here, and have a coal unloading station in this space here, that would be perfect. Something up here? Yeah, because there's the remains of the uh, coal mine. Put that a bit lower, actually. Then I can hopefully come in and swing round. So, how do I want it ideally? Well, let's put it vertically, actually, like this. Yep, yeah, that'll do nicely. Unloading there. Yep, yeah, that's empty, as I thought. There is thing is though, there is a lot of coal still left in the system. I just need to get it back into the right place by running along and scooping it up off the ammo belts, basically. Um, so that might be able to, that might mean I can get the whole thing jump started again, which is a bit of a relief because I have to admit that was a bit of a worry. Uh, oh yeah, splitters. But to be honest, at this point, there's not no real point in getting everything up and jump started again until I can actually keep it running by bringing more coal in. Where are they? There they are, splitters. Ten belts. As well. So yeah, this is a. <laughs> Bit of a problem, but not an insurmountable one. I I hope these are all dead. Not surprisingly. Oh no, no they're not. They're just out of power. Oh well, never mind. <laughs> this is all unnecessary. I've used up all the rubite. I think I have. Yeah. How many does it take? Two. All right. You can. No, what? Yeah. There we go. I can have one more go when the power comes back on. 
Uh, yeah, let's worry about that later, shall we? So how do we do these? Let's see, it was... Unload onto them. Like that. And under. Okay, so... If I can get some coal on a train and get it to here, and somehow get enough power into those things for them to unload it, then it's going to be... Um, then it'll get into the system and it'll start working. Okay, next step is to get some coal into a train somehow. What? Already? Oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Can I make some more? Yes. How many more do I need? Three. Uh, how many have? One, two, three, four, five. Five to two. Um, four, five to four even? Yeah, let's take a five to four. That one. That's not going to work. I feel like about the only thing I'm not short of at the moment is belts. And time, interestingly. Nothing seems to have gone horribly wrong yet, with the la due to the, despite the lack of power. Uh, mm. Okay. Uh, oh no, power for the inserters. Like that. And coal for the train, of course. Uh oh. <laughs> I see biters on the. I'm not quite on the move, but. Yeah. Okay. No. Alright. Till empty. Pick up. Till full. Uh, okay. So, if I can get power, that should get me some coal down to the base and get enough power for long enough. Let's go and see what I can do. Oh, got it through there. Right, let's give this a shot. Okay, let's see. This should be enough to get everything running again. I just hope it's running, it'll get it running for long enough to to actually um, dig up enough coal that it's worth it. Okay, so now we have full power satisfaction. I can't see up there because I haven't put a radar there yet. Can I build a radar? Yes. Yeah, let's put even more load on the, on the um, power supply, shall we? I suppose the other question I haven't actually asked yet is whether one train's worth of coal being delivered at, at a time like this is going to be enough. Well, if not, I guess we'll find out soon. When, uh, when I just can't get it up and running again. <laughs> that would be a shame. Uh, let's go and see how the train's filling up. Good, that looks like it's running properly. train is gradually filling up. Let's um, just go and unload unload that down there because otherwise I'm worried I'm just going to get to the point where it doesn't where I just can't. Um, that's probably going to attract the bite's attention. <laughs> that might have been a bad move. No, they haven't noticed yet. I reckon I could take those on actually. I don't have anywhere to run back to. That's the only problem. Put in. What if I put in some turrets on the top of here, like that? <laughs> a bit of that. Shut those over. Right. Let's see how's how's that train doing? Unloading successfully. Yes, that looks like. Okay, granted the problems aren't completely over yet because these have all run out again. So no doubt we're yeah very short of power. But once this supply gets down there, that's going to start all of these up. I think it's been. Re I think it's rescued. I think we're okay. Okay. Well, so while that's happening, I'll uh, just get up here and start. I'm getting better at this. No, I've not quite finished the base off. There's still a worm left there. Oh, we're out of ammunition. <laughs> um, okay, that's a, about... I think that's probably a reason to come back down here and uh, get the biters off my tail. Whoa, the blue ones are tough. Right, um, I hope I don't see too many of them because I'm clearly not ready to deal with them yet. I am, however, ready to finish that worm off. Oh, they've got blue one as well. Oh, and I'm out of grenades. Oh, and I'm out of... No... Help. Nearly out of car armour as well. And I'm going backwards, which is a bit harder to control. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Oh, Help. Oh, God, those are tough. Help. <laughs> kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, no. <laughs> right, yes, those blue ones are a real worry. So, um, yeah. Well, that was, that was an exciting few minutes. Um... Well, right, so uh, let's have a... I think that's a good point to stop, actually. I've been going for an hour and ten. I've solved the immediate problem of the um, the coal, although there's no defence going on up there. So I think that's probably a good time to call it an episode, um, especially as I've just been horribly horribly killed by a large blue biter. Um, so what, what, what have we done today? Today was not an enormously productive episode. I've built this railway line across here and up here. Um, I built this coal mine. And I've made some plans as well. And I, I took out a, a bite of base and a half. Um, so I think, yeah, I think it's been okay as these episodes go. 
Hopefully it's reasonably exciting. It ended with a bit of a bang anyway. Um, not necessarily in the best of ways. But still, c'est la vie. Um, yeah, I guess I'd better head back up there and, um, and reclaim my stuff. And, um, and build, uh, yeah, build a new car as well. Okay, well, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode.